Well, after the thunder and lightning storms Tuesday morning through flooded roadways Tuesday night, most of our lives got back to normal by Wednesday. But not for several Kalailoa businesses. They're not so lucky. In fact, one suffered losses in the six-figure range. Eric Engel tonight with more on a story that's new at 10. Power is back to normal for K1 Speed indoor go-kart racing, but it's been a tough, dark week for it and other businesses in Kalailoa. Close to 70% of K1's businesses walk in, and with no power Tuesday, they had to turn customers away. Others with parties planned had to be rescheduled. Similar situations happened at Pups of War, a Nerf battle zone, and Dogs of War, an airsoft park. Both are primarily outdoor entertainment ranges, but depend on electricity for offices, computers, and other systems. The businesses rent from hunt companies. Its Hawaii region president, Steve Colon, apologized to tenants, saying, We know that Hawaiian Electric and the Navy have been working diligently and that the last of those affected will have power today. The hardest hit was Tamora's. Known for its fresh poke, the supermarket has had no power since Tuesday morning. We pretty much couldn't save anything that was saleable on the floor, but whatever we had in our backroom freezers and our backroom chill, um, we tried to save that. They borrowed a generator-powered refrigerated container to save what they could. With no power for about 96 hours, some two tons of food had to be tossed. We can't do it because, you know, like I mentioned to you before, that we have to think about the integrity of the product, and we just have to destroy everything. In addition to heartbreaking food waste, business losses are steep. With the loss of revenue and product, it's, it's in the six figures already. Captain Mark DeLau, commanding officer of the Naval Facilities Engineering Command, also apologized. We regret that this power outage impacted the many businesses, residents, and military facilities at Kalailoa for a substantial length of time. One transformer was destroyed by the storm and had to be replaced. The new one arrived Thursday and was expected to restore power to the market by tonight. Tamura's will reopen in the morning if the power is on, but Mita says it may take a few days for it to be fully restocked. Erica Engel, KHON2 News.